All right, let me tell you what's going on right now. The reason why we're experiencing these big solar flares, level seven, and gonna get bigger than that is because the thing is that <clears throat> we are exiting our cocoon state, meaning that we have to evolve out of our original consciousness. And you know what does that? Solar flares. You know why solar flares does that? It's because heat, expansion of heat, increases your molecules and it causes you to ascend quicker, which means coming to your full level of consciousness. This is why the planet is experiencing so much global rapid heat, aka global warming right now. So the CM, uh, CMEs, solar massive flares, that's, uh, that's basically causing a cosmic shift. This cosmic shift is gonna occur from two years ago, of course, 2020, a.k.a. 2012, because this is 2014, all right? So 2012 was two years ago. We've already been in this process for two years now until 2024, which is you will reach your butterfly state at the end of 2024 or before the. It just depends on your level of evolution. So if you've been working on yourself for years on uh, before this, then you're good. You're probably coming out of that cocoon right now. You definitely are. But people who have not yet to start the ascension, the shadow work, uh, working on inner self, well, of course, you still have time, but I'm telling you, 2024, you gotta be good about it. You gotta be adamant about working on yourself right now because the thing is, that unless you work on yourself, all of that dark shadow, everything that's still pent up inside of you will come out. If you let that come out without doing the work to cleanse it and rectify, then you will turn into something else. You ever know in anime how there's like curse energy and stuff, stuff like that? Well, those curses came about, how? From negative human emotions. People manifested that with their intent because they were so focused on it, they created cursed objects that they did not intend to manifest. So if you do not rectify and cleanse yourself from internal out, you will literally create more cursed objects in this world. I'm talking shit that's dark. Whatever you have pent up has to come out. Come on, as so above, so below, as so below, as above. I'm telling you, we don't have any choice at this point. It's up to you. Be mindful because if not, your family, your friends, the close ones will have to pay the piper for your mistakes and your mishaps. So I'm telling you, these global flares is just think of it like this. You know how a hen, uh, you know how a chicken, you know, is trying to hatch its hens, right? What it does is sits on it to give it like heat exposure to heat it up from the inside so it can grow and come out of the, uh, what's it called, the egg, the shell, right? I, I don't know too much about hens that much, all right? Right? So the chicken come out the hen, right? I mean, the hen can come out the shell, right? Right? And the, and the mother have to sit on it and then put all the heat into it and, right? And it comes out of the shell, right? That's what's going on right now. You're being exposed to so much, what's it called? Radiate heat, it's radiation actually, but it, we'll, we'll, we'll just call it heat, radiation, no no different than the Hulk or, you know, Fantastic Four or Chronicle, right? Okay, cool. So, now that we're on that page, you know what I'm saying, I can move on. So, you're being exposed to so much heat. Do you know why? Do you know why you're being um, exposed to so much heat? It's because you are in the process of ascending. You have to come out of that cocoon state because the planet needs you now. So you're going to be going through a massive awakening. If you haven't already, you're going to be going through it right now. You're going to be experiencing a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go in this video about what you're going to be experiencing, but I'm just telling you guys, do not go off of fear. Do not focus on fear. Everything is in your greatest good. That's what this, uh, that's what the purpose of the video is for. Damn, I'm trying to, man, 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 my man you know, oh. <sighs> man, damn, real quick, y'all. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. My phone is gonna be shut off today, all right, at midnight. My phone's gonna be shut off today at midnight, okay? So if anybody can look out for me, man, my phone bill is, I have Metro. So a very cheap phone, all right? I, if not, uh, I'll probably have to find another way, but I have a very cheap service, as you can see. I have Metro, so if y'all can look out, man, I really appreciate it. My phone bill is $50. If not, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get these videos to you guys. So it is what it is. I ain't, I ain't, you know, I don't wanna, what's it called? 
I don't want to rely or anything like that, but I've been looking for employment and I'm just, ah, man, it is what it is. You got to take one day at a time, yo. Every day, it's a job looking for a job. Leave it at that. Like every day, it's a job just to look for a job, two jobs, because one job is obviously ain't going to take care of things. So I have to look for two jobs. All right. Because my other job did take care of everything. And now that that job fell through, I have to look for a new job, two new, new jobs, Pearl. It ain't even singular around here. All right. So just like with any animal, anything, anything, it has to go through an intense exposure of heat first. Think of it like that. So you're going through an intense exposure of heat at this moment. So you'll be feeling things heating up in your body, your molecules is expanding, your cells, your mitochondria, which basically is called your serpent energy. It's where your kudalini goes up and down, right? And that is where it opens up your chakra from your root to your crown, right? And if you, there's ways to know how your root chakra is cut off and your crown chakra is cut off. Every chakra, there's a telltale. You, I could tell, I could tell you guys um, in a different video of how to know if any of your chakras is shut off. But okay, this exposure to heat is gonna activate all of that. It's gonna turn all your chakras on. But there's a bunch of things you gotta do. You gotta be practicing mindfulness, selflessness, gratitude, be grateful. You can't resonate on fear. They know what they're doing out there. They need you to resonate on fear because you lock your DNA. If you focus on fear, you will lock your DNA. So which means you will hold yourself in a stagnant position, which means you will literally stop growing. I know just by focusing on fear. That's how crucial and bad fear is. That is why there's so much fear trying to be propagated to you on a daily basis. If you guys want to check out part two of this, man, like this video, man, show love. Yo, my cash app information is down below. Like I said, man, I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it, get out of my head about it, but I don't know how my phone going to be able to, and I've really been, and I've been looking day labor and all that stuff, so, hey, man, I'm going to come back with part two of this, yo. Peace.